what's up on the nation? Thanks for tuning in, you're about to hear 90 seconds with me, zero, and one thing is clear He's the most Adamus, and the one thing he can promise He can take you from a zero, and will make you a hero What up, AIM Nation? Another 90 seconds with Null Zero, and today we're talking about hero shooters. Hero shooters are basically shooters where you're going to have a champion or hero that has a defined set of abilities that kind of creates uh, what you will do on the battlefield with your team. Um, it's very much like a MOBA. And the reason we want to talk about this is because there are so many hero shooters coming out either this year or the next year that I want to really emphasize to our community that if you're afraid of MOBAs or you haven't played MOBAs because you're like, oh, it's too much or it's not my type of game, I don't want you to shy away from the hero shooters, especially my shooter fans out there. It's a lot of fun and it's very accessible being that it's a shooter. First person shooters are one of the most accessible games is pretty easy to pick them up and figure out the basics. Uh, the big difference here in hero shooters is you're going to really need to learn like what it, each individual champ brings to the table. So you know how to kind of counter that champion. Um, it's going to be really, uh, you know, a big thing in like Overwatch and Battleborn to know that this guy's a tank, you know, this guy's a healer. I need to focus the healer so I can have access to actually killing these other guys. So I really just want to emphasize, you know, give it a shot. Don't be afraid of the hero shooter genre. Uh, it's here to stay. It's going to be big in 2016 so much that they, they might oversaturate the market a little bit with it. But give hero shooters a try. Let me know what you think of hero shooters. And let me know if I'll see you in Overwatch or Battleborn, the two I'm most excited about. And leave it in the comments, guys.